Why is the Madagascar Biodiversity Partnership working halfway around the world in Madagascar? Madagascar is home to some of the most amazing plants and animals that do not live in the wild anywhere else in the world. 90% of Madagascar's original forest has been lost, leaving many of its wildlife in danger of going extinct. With few viable alternatives, Madagascar's growing population relies upon several environmentally destructive activities, such as slash and burn farming, gold mining, and hunting, all of which threaten the island's extraordinary species diversity. Omaha's Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium and the Madagascar Biodiversity Partnership are working hard to reverse this trend in the surrounding forests of Kinjavatu in southeast Madagascar through research, education, and outreach. Implementing a community-based restoration effort with a goal of planting one million trees in the degraded landscape. The MBP's program, the Education Promoting Reforestation Program, known as the EPRP, is a grassroots endeavor that has rallied local support and raised awareness for the need for conservation. This endeavor strives to find a sustainable path forward for the 12,000 residents reliant upon the surrounding forest fragments, while increasing population numbers of two critically endangered lemur species. The project is introducing nursery management practices into this developing country, thereby empowering residents to make a change for their future. So far, eight nurseries have been built near participating villages to house seedlings prior to transplantation. Community representatives from the immediate area operate these nurseries and coordinate community planting days. We believe education is the key to where conservation starts. In collaboration with our education partner, Conservation Fusion, an international nonprofit NGO which has led a series of education and community development events to strengthen interest in community based conservation projects headed by the MVP. Due to this incredible alliance with Conservation Fusion, festivals have been created by the people to celebrate what they've learned. All of these endeavors create a sense of pride in their community's incredible treasures and a thirst to provide a sustainable legacy to pass on to future generations. Much of the local community is already on board and routinely contributes to the one million tree planting effort. To motivate the community even more, we have developed a series of conservation credit programs. With all of Madagascar's diverse beauty, everyday life here is hard work. That's why with our conservation credit rewards program, we hope to make life a little bit easier for all of our participants. The conservation credits can be used to purchase sustainable, life-changing products such as Tough Stuff Solar Kits to bring light into the local homes. They can also be used to charge batteries and cell phones. Hippo Rollers, which can transport water more efficiently. A hippo roller can hold 90 liters of water, which is substantially more than using buckets or jerry cans. A fuel-efficient rocket stove that offers an alternative to open fire and reduces the amount of wood burnt, as well as a family's expenses. And eventually, other big items like sewing machines and bicycles making life easier without detrimentally increasing the human footprint. These conservation credit rewards are earned on planting event days. The recipients can earn one credit for every two trees planted. 
There is a growing interest in participation from additional groups, including a local single women's club, members of which are single mothers whose involvement with the project allows them to contribute to the community and earn additional income and conservation credit rewards. Thus, earning local appreciation for the project's potential to aid residents and the regional wildlife. Ultimately, the transplanted endemic trees will restore habitat and enable movement of lemur populations. Our hope is this will entice the lemurs to forage and continue the process of the forest restoration themselves, thus requiring less future human intervention. The EPRP also includes tree species with commercial value, thus providing area residents the benefit of an additional source of income over time. Today, the work of our grassroots effort depends on grants and donations to advance these community-supported endeavors. By having your support, we can continue to build a safe, natural, and sustainable habitat for the wildlife and the people of Madagascar.